Hello you guys, it is the pretty coach here. And I'm just coming and keeping the energy and momentum going. And of course, I just want <clears throat> for all the messages to be accurate and um, you know, provide clarity and honest to God, provide confirmation for those who are gonna come across this reading and that it'll be for them, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to set a timer for myself just because I really need that. I'm trying to get better, okay? <laughs> so here we go. All right, guys, so I'm starting with clarifying the strength card, okay? The cards that I pulled, we had the 10 of cups. Let me just go ahead and read it. It says, a happy marriage. It says, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully, and people you can trust. So because, you know, I feel like in continuance with the reading that we started, I really do feel like for some of you guys, this is going to be your happily ever after, okay? Especially in regards to this could be your twin flame, this could be a soulmate who spirit has shared with you, um, you know, is going to come into your life or come back into your life. It just depends on whether or not you and this person have already dealt with each other or if this is a new energy and a new person that's coming in. The point is, I feel that you have gotten prophetic messages about this. I feel like in, the prophetic messages could have been like the card said through your dreams um, and really just through whatever other way that spirit connects with you. If you are clear audience, then that means you've actually heard things about this person or you've heard information about this person. You heard a voice in your head telling you about the things that were going to come with this person, okay? And maybe it was hard for you to believe. Maybe you felt like, okay, you know, is this just me? It's very possible that you've done that. I know that that energy resonates with me, okay? But I think that you've gotten worried about it, period. So this is going to be your happily ever after, you guys. And that's that's just how I feel. And I'm a Cancer Mercury. And so I have to go. I have to go based off of what I'm feeling. It's, it's my intuition and my gut feelings that give me um, a lot of the accuracy. So I feel that this is the happy ending for a lot of people. Okay. Um, I feel that you will be very content with this person. Like everything that your spirit and that your soul has longed for. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Everything that you longed for, the things that you hoped that would happen and be made manifest, maybe in other connections that you were a part of, but they just did not happen. This you will experience with this particular connection. Okay. I do feel like for some of you guys, there was a lot of heartbreak and confusion um, that could have happened for some of you guys in the past or for others of you, this is going to be coming into you after a period of a lot of confusion, after a period of maybe you being in a third party situation, whether that was with someone's job, whether it was with someone's family, or in fact, if someone had you in a third party with a whole nother partner, okay? We'll go into this a little bit more in a moment. We have the 10 of wands as well, or the 10 of fire. Let me tell you what the three of air or sword says it says great sadness that will heal with time it also says let go of the past personal growth that comes from challenges and it says healing misunderstandings and being there for those in need so let me tell you how i feel like every last one of these things applies to each one of us and i'm going to explain why i feel that this relationship the hurt and the pain, that great sadness that was experienced, it was a catalyst for a lot of us. It started us on our healing journey. It opened it opened us up to spirit in another way, right? Um, on top of that, because of our own healing and uh, knowing that it would heal in time, um, we were helping others to heal in the process. You understand what I'm saying? So I feel like all of that applied to this connection and all of that applies to each and every one of us that this reading is going to resonate with. And we grew. We grew. And as we grew, we helped other people grow. Moving on. Moving on. Um, I want to say that the cups energy represents the sign of can the signs of or the energy of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The three of swords represents Aries. I mean, sorry, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. 
And the Ten of Fire here is going to represent Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. It says working too hard or too many hours. The need for balance in life, letting others help you, and health problems due to stress. I do want to say that I get the vibe that somebody may experience these things as far as health problems due to stress. I literally feel like this is what's going to, all of these factors are going to help someone get up the courage, get up the strength to go towards who and what their heart and soul loves. I do feel like this is being driven by spirit. Let's go ahead and start clarifying. Spirit, show me the ten of fire first, please. Show me the ten of fire. I'm going to pause. While I'm clarifying, I have the high priestess here. I feel like somebody had a dream about whatever this 10 of wands energy is going to be about. Six of swords. Somebody had a dream about this. I'm going to just say what I know to be factual for myself. Some of you guys may have had a dream about your twin or your soulmate becoming ill at some point in time in their life and that's when they are gonna like somehow get this epiphany that you are who they're supposed to be with and so they're going it's like it's going to light a fire under them to get shit straight because they literally think they're gonna die that may not be for everyone i have the six of swords here um, it's also possible that if it's not necessarily like a health issue, it could be that somebody is going to realize and recognize that maybe in times past, if you were with this person, I really get a heavy past energy. Okay. I really, really do. Um, it's very possible that in times past, you may have shared with this person that they work too much, um, that they needed to spend time with, you know, building with you or just building intimacy and building a connection with you. And, and, and maybe that was something that it was hard for them to understand before, but now they get it. They're going to lay these burdens down. Okay. Um, that's the vibe that I'm feeling. And some of these people, six of swords could be that they're going to be, they're wanting to move more towards peace, peace of mind. And in them being a part of peace of mind, they want rest. They want smooth sailing in calmer waters i don't know why but i'm getting a vacation for some people as well show me more about this ten of fire spirit before i move forward i got more all right i got the page of pentacles and i got the king of wands what i feel is this person is going to be learning a new skill set and this new skill set is, I feel, one, how to take action towards possibly what they truly desire. But I also feel like the new skill set could be resting. The new skill set could literally be relaxing. And they're going to be taking a note from whoever is the one that's got the Leo in their, in their energy. Leo and Virgo specifically. And I get that from the strength card. All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male here, possibly. I also feel like this is going to be a new offer to someone, probably the one who's who they're who who has been a catalyst for them. So I think there's going to be a, a new beginning, or someone's going to be talking about starting over, new. All right, Spirit, show me the Three of Swords, please. Show me this energy of the Three of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, the victory card, six of wands came out in the reverse. This person, for a little while, you may have even seen as an enemy towards you, or maybe they saw you as an enemy. It does, you know, we got the eight of wands coming out. I see the seven of cups here. I just feel this vibe that you guys thought that this was going to be the, you know, that you were making a good choice here. But maybe there were some smoke screens, some illusions that were up, some things that weren't so clear about the connection. And this is what led to the limited success or no success at all with the connection. We have the eight of wands coming up, though, so... And the Eight of Wands is all about very fast, quick, sudden movements, okay? Um, opportunities that you guys can have, 
but it's like so many different things coming at once. Okay, I feel like this person could have been offered um, a few things that they've always wanted. And they got it all at the same time. And the decision that they made, though, could have caused some pain and harm to some of you guys who are watching. Show me more about the Three of Swords, please. I'm seeing the Lover's card, yeah, and I'm seeing the Five of Swords. I feel for some of you guys, there could have been some competition for somebody. There was some sneakiness. There was some underhandedness. Um... It definitely makes me feel like somebody was living in their head, in their mind. They had a decision to make, but I don't think that they were really clear on what decision what decision to make. And so maybe the decision they made was to remain in a third party connection. I feel like that wasn't successful though. Because of too many options, or of this being a fantasy, something being a fantasy. And because of manipulative behaviors. Spirit, show me the Ten of Cups, please. You guys, I have so many things I need to read, so I'm going to go faster. The Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands. That is marriage to me. That is um, a wedding reception. Some of you guys may already literally be married to someone, but maybe you guys didn't have the money at the at first to get married. And now over time, you guys have, I don't know why it's going this way, but I feel the need to say it. Over time, you guys have worked together. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm hitting the, my foot is hitting the thing. You guys have worked together. You have built together. And now is the time where you finally get to put in for this wedding that you've always wanted. I see the star card and I see the three of swords. I cannot make this up. I feel like because the three of swords is showing up here, I don't think that this is going to be new happening. I feel like this is just confirming that whoever you had that three of swords energy with, that third party situation, whoever really broke your heart, who left you in a state of confusion, okay? Some of you guys, if y'all did this to someone, you're the cross watcher, this is who you're wanting to possibly go and make things right with. I do feel like spirit is leading this. And of course, a miracle. This is a miracle. This is going to be healing. Restoration. Show me more about this Ten of Cups. Knight of Swords. Um, <clears throat> that's plans. That's quick movement. That could be conversations. Maybe even arguments. We got the judgment, baby. I feel that this Ten of Cups is going to be coming swiftly. That's what I'm getting. Oh, let me hurry up before Daria wakes up. Eight of Pentacles, the Hermit, Temperance, Ace of Cups, the Strength. Yeah. I feel like somebody's been working and they've been working diligently. Um, they have probably been keeping to themselves a lot with the Hermit. They've gone within, I feel... A diamond could somehow be significant. We have the temperance card here. I feel like balance is going to be restored for sure. First within this person though, and maybe within both of you guys. I feel like spirit is literally preparing you guys for each other. I remember with one of the cards, it was saying, let the past go. So this could be something that's happening. Like I just get this vibe that some things I'm, 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 I'm feeling like in my heart area. Like if there was something that was like gripping them, gripping their heart, it was things like fear and jealousy and envy and just so many painful, dark, shadowy things that was steadily encroaching on their heart and going like this. It's being released and I feel like it's like dripping away or it's like flowing away off of them. That's what I feel. We have the Ace of Cups. That's new love or renewal of love. Not only that, that could be new spiritual insight or a renewal of the spirit, a reviving of the spirit. And then we got the strength card. That's what's gonna help them come forward. Um, okay, moving on. Let me get back. I'm gonna cut the timer back on. All right, clarifying the king of pentacles, we had the strength card. This came out at least three times. 
we have the six of coins. I feel like you guys are going to be able to be philanthropic together because of the money, though, that this person has. King of coins coming out again. It says compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success. It says financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully, a supportive parent and spouse, a good person to work for. This is how I feel like this man is going to be coming in for some of you guys. For some of you guys, if you're women, this is how your husband is going to be coming in. They are going to be ready to support you, ready to fund you as well. You guys, I think, are going to work well together if you guys open up businesses and stuff like that. We have the four of water. Um, failing to recognize a magical opportunity, missing the point of something, the distractions of daily life, discontentment or boredom, lost in your own world, and it's time to wake up. This is kind of what I feel like this person is coming from. I feel like spirit has been working on them. If this is a past energy, spirit's been working on them. If it's a current energy, spirit's been working on them, but they're currently not satisfied with where they are. For some of you guys, y'all could currently not be satisfied as well. We got the Eight of Cups. They're walking away from something now. They're emotionally distancing themselves from something now. It says the need to move on. They're moving on from something or someone. Seeking more from life than what you are currently experiencing a spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities, and leaving home. For some of you guys, your person is going to leave what they feel has been familiar and comfortable for the first time in their whole entire life. But the reason that they're doing it, aside from, you know, spirit urging them to, it's literally love that's leading them. It's love that's guiding them. And guess what? It's not just regular. It's like love for you. The love that they that they feel for you is what's moving them. Last but not least, we have the five of water or the five of cups. And it says focusing on the negative, things not turning out the way that you anticipated, forgiveness of self or others, and everything happening happens for a reason and looking for the hidden blessings. Um, I kind of feel like somebody will have gone through a lot of different things. They will have gone through like many, probably all of these emotions, all of those feelings. Um, focusing on the negative. Realizing that things aren't working out for them, maybe the way that they had hoped or expected them to. I even think if this is a person who's reflecting, I believe that they're kicking themselves because they're like, that wasn't, that wasn't what I wanted. You know, I didn't want that to happen. And last but not least, we have the nine of pentacles. It says, enjoying the fruits of your labors, hard work that has led to a luxurious life, buying yourself something special, happily and successfully self-employed and enjoying your solitude. For some of these people, it's very possible that this was the energy that they were in, enjoying being by themselves. For others, this doesn't have to mean being single or being by yourself. It could mean that the hard work that these people have put in individually is going to pay off even for their relationship. Which is more of the vibe that I get since all of this is clarifying the king of pentacles. But remember I was saying I felt the vibe that this person needs to get their money together. They've done that. Moving forward. Clarifying the two of wands, we had balance. So in my mind, this person will have found the balance that they needed, okay? Libra energy is showing up there as well. Let me read that card though. It says, blending the, blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary, successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. Which is also um, the temperance card. That's like the temperance we have the Knight of Pentacles or the Knight of Earth. And it says, loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive, plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for the perfect timing, a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. I just kind of feel like this is about being methodical, planning. This is what I feel the, the most energy surrounding planning. And I also feel like this person is protected. Whether they are aware of this or not, they're, they're heavily protected. We have the two of fire or the two of wands again. And it says taking the next steps, bold and ambitious choices, partnering with others who share your dreams, expanding your plans, continuing to move forward. Last but not least, we got the lovers. 
But with this, I want to say that it's possible that they could be partnering with someone else to get them towards you. Okay, there could literally be someone who's working with them. I feel like I'm, I'm getting a vibe of like a special male friend or someone that is close to them who's like telling them what to do, who may eventually like tell them, you know, what to say. There's somebody who they could be talking to. I don't know why I'm feeling that. We have the lovers, last but not least. And it says, embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart, vibrant health, or recovery from an illness. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but we did get the 10 of wands that at the very last, it said, health problems due to stress. So what I feel, I believe this person knows exactly where to come to get their healing. If they didn't know before, I feel like spirit is going to expressively be talking to them, um, letting them know who and where to go for their healing. I think that this person, spirit is going to show this person that, hey, the reason that you're stressed is because you're working too hard. There's an easier way. There's a better way. There's a way that I want you to get the lifestyle that you're wanting to get. For some of you guys, that may not be everybody's energy. And I feel like they're going to recognize that it's with their divine partner. And even if they don't know that much, love is what's going to be the name of the game here. They're trying to get back to love. They're trying to get back to that beautiful, happy, healing feeling that they had and that they experienced when they were with you or vice versa. If that was you, if you're the one who's trying to get back to that loving feeling, then that's how that goes. Take it how it resonates. But I really feel like you're aware or they're aware of where they need to go to heal. And if they're not, they're going to find out once they're in the arms of love. I'm hearing the Michael Bolton song, In the Arms of Love. Okay? With that being said, peace, love, light, and darkness, which all works together to bring balance and harmony, first within ourselves and then within our world. It's been my pleasure to serve you guys. Bye. Sorry, you guys. I didn't mean to just run off like that, but Daria was literally turning over on the sofa. And, ooh, oh, my baby in her nose. I'm so sorry, honey. She was turning over, and she was literally going to hit the floor. So I just can't. That would have hurt my feelings. But anyways, it's been my pleasure to serve you guys this way. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know exactly how this resonated with you guys, okay? I love you with the love of the most high. Bye.